Thank you. So thank you very much for the presentation. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> that uh, eagerly cover here. Unfortunately, I, I missed part of the presentation before, but my, my nice colleagues were trying to translate something for me, so I, I got uh, something. And um, very interesting. It's hard to have a presentation of, after three institutional political uh, prominence. <laughs> I will try uh, to be as eloquent as, as I can. Um, after this presentation, I have appreciated, let's say, the implications of uh, the digital uh, uh, influence and era on our, uh, on our life from every perspective, from the social, from the cultural, from the industrial, from the economic. And uh, I have to say, this, uh, let's say, holistic influence of this era, put together with the velocity to which this is applying modifications to our uh, every lifestyle, could uh, justify the world revolution. Now, of course, I'm talking here from the perspective of the industry, and specifically of a, of a specific industry, of uh, an historical industry, if you like, because uh, uh, shipbuilding is, I believe, one of the first activities the human being has started with. Um, and I would like to, uh, talking about this holistic approach, underline the meaning of digital in very few words, which means all about communication, all about connecting data and information. Connecting data and information as the effect that the entire life cycle of the industry is somehow connected, related. The synapses are very integrated and uh, uh, multiplied in itself. We can not really talk uh, anymore in the industry about single entities, but about the ecosystem. The ecosystem made that all uh, the, let's say, value chain uh, entities of the entire uh, industry and economical and financial and social uh, uh, world. The effect is that uh, the dimension has become of the market has become is becoming always more and more global. If you would like, on the other side is like if the world is becoming too small, and the other is the velocity the velocity of the effects for whatever cause you uh, is uh, occurring. The example is the recent uh, crisis of the offshore due to the price of the oil. It was uh, probably something never seen and experienced in that size uh, for the dimension and for the velocity of the crash. The digital technology, I should, uh, sorry for, yeah, the digital technology has been disruptive for a number of uh, uh, companies and of uh, activities. We see here in the, in the chart, in the upper part, those uh, uh, sectors uh, of the industry which have been uh, widely affected by the digital uh, uh, evolution. The banks, the medias, uh, the telecommunication, they had to quickly reinvent their business. They had to quickly, uh, uh, let's say, readjust the way they make the business, they they gather value, they provide added value. On the other side, in the, lower, in the lowest part, there is uh, um, the industry of the construction, which, uh, which uh, seems to be apparently less affected by, together with the oil and gas. In real terms, uh, the digitalization, uh, let's say, 
is all spread along the entire life cycle of the activity in the construction afterwards. We shall see in which, uh, in which way. But um, if you consider this aspect of the um, digitalization together with the crisis of the oil I mentioned before, the same industry, however, had to seek for other ways to provide added value to get our value. And it's a fact that exactly like uh, the industry of the media, of the telecommunication, have uh, used this time to um, adequate themselves, also through M&A. On this other side of the, of the curve, the industry of the oil and gas, of the construction, have spent uh, these last couple of years in trying to re-adequate the configuration. Uh, think to, uh, I don't know, TechNIP with FMC merged together. Uh, think uh, uh, Baker Huge with General Electric merged together. Again, compliant with the dimension of the world, which is becoming too small for the markets, uh, and uh, the, the need of extending the scope of work, the value provided to the client. In this uh, situation, uh, the first point is to be, to be global, to be bigger, to create a condition for protect the business with a certain solidity. If the business is global, the resources needed, the financial resources, the infrastructures need to, to be global as well. So one of the first point is the dimension. And uh, Fincantieri Group has at uh, present uh, a revenue of 4.4 billion euro. Uh, ten years ago, had less than three. With the um, cooperation and merge, we are uh, uh, carrying on with uh, STX. We shall uh, very soon achieve more than six billion. And in this group, there is, of course, uh, there is VAD that has brought a huge heritage. Nine of the 20 shipyards uh, uh, distributed all over the world are of, uh, uh, of VAD. And uh, uh, 9,000 of 20,000 employees, 9,200, uh, are coming from VAD. And uh, the other aspects very important to mitigate um, the quick change of the market, the quick evolution, and the, and the need ever evolving is the diversification of the products. As you can see from the chart, sorry, I am. Um, as you can see from the chart. Uh, we are present in the cruise environment, in the navy environment, in the, of course, uh, oil and gas support vessel, in the yacht environment and ferries. This provides uh, not only the possibility to quick recover uh, for the counter phase of the several market branch when a certain uh, market is in downturn uh, and the other, like, like in, the, in this case, the offshore has experienced, as I said, uh, this downturn, but the cruise environment uh, probably gain, gaining advantage from the oil, low oil costs, but also on a, on a certain primary request for the passengers for, for cruise is uh, really expanding and in this moment uh, uh, enable us and uh, as VAD also to uh, um, provide a significant offer for that environment. So um, in this moment, uh, VAD has uh, uh, six, uh, seven uh, sh um, cruise vessels and a construction explorer we shall see afterwards. In this galassia of the Fincantieri um, group, uh, I have to say that uh, out of each single employee of VAD, 
uh, according to a study was carried out uh, on in the region uh, some year ago, 5.4 are indirected employees that are present uh, uh, in, the, in the region, in, the, in Norway. The diversification specifically for, for VAT, as I said, is partially coming from the relation with Incantieri, the crews I mentioned before, and the military environment. Um, there are a certain number, a certain typology of vessel that come from the uh, heritage that VAT has, the competences in the territory, uh, the work to work vessels for the uh, wind farms or the aquaculture. And there are some uh, concepts that me has been developing um, following the new request uh, by the market, which is the research vessels, uh, the bankery station, the, which concept was uh, uh, developed in, in Breivik, together with a new uh, gas bankering contain uh, carriers, and uh, uh, the uh, new solutions regarding uh, battery uh, charging, uh, a vessel that are able, ferries that are able to uh, operate without the need of any, uh, let's say, fuel, uh, gas, or, or, or oil. So from this chart, we can see that the the, the way of uh, diversifying of Fincantieri in of, of VAD specifically in the uh, in the years coming from 2010, where mainly we were talking about uh, offshore uh, activity, to nowadays, where the chart is filled with this new solution of. Uh, uh, of uh, modular carriers, uh, which uh, has been uh, specifically developed uh, to um, uh, provide an answer to a client who needed to bring in the Caspian uh, and, uh, offshore equipment, and by the cruise, uh, by the cruise uh, uh, sector, as I mean, which is the blue, the blue one. In the other, there are the aquaculture and the uh, ferries. Um, which uh, uh, in, in 2017 uh, has been acquired too for Torgatten, and, uh, and another additional has been the Boreal acquired uh, at the beginning of this year. Um, but to be big and to be diversified, it's not uh, the only recipe, uh, in the sense that they are mainly uh, risk mitigating factor or being big, give the possibility to structure the business. We need to innovate, we need to um, create a condition for following a very quickly uh, changing market. So where the overall conditions, the boundary conditions are changing, the answer is provide new solutions. But new solutions need to be carefully tuned between the quantity of uh, uh, size of innovation you bring in your product uh, versus the, the uh, level of conservatism uh, that is to be brought to the, to the product as well. So the, if the innovation uh, provides an answer to the new needs, the conservative uh, is, uh, for us, oriented to the risk of containment. The standardization and the customization, which are, are the two sides of the uh, conserving new product, are uh, either devoted to the cost reduction, but beyond that, to the capacity of the clients to uh, find uh, systems uh, and components uh, everywhere in the world uh, available, and the customization, customization which lead to the uh, specific uh, uh, specialization of the clients for their peculiar way to provide service or to operate. So, uh, working on this, and leveraging upon the uh, digitalization, 
the major significance that we bring to the innovation is the integration. An integration provided, uh, achieved thanks to the uh, information technology tools with, in other words, providing connectivity, provide as well connection and integration. Integration of the function of the vessel, integration of the process in our uh, company from design to uh, production. Integration of the system between the hull, between the vessel and the uh, and the, and the um, configuration used for operating the vessel. As I mentioned before, the, the part of conservatism is mainly used for, uh, for uh, uh, safety purposes. Um, in real terms, uh, we take all what uh, from the rules and regulation is consolidated, is proven, and grants the safety to the clients, but safety comes uh, uh, as well by, uh, from the uh, uh, information technology tools. It is um, somehow um, uh, analyzed in the market that the contribution of the digitalization uh, to safety aspect in several market branches reaches uh, the 20% of uh, um, better performing in terms of, uh, of safety. It's, uh, it's uh, enough to talk about the communication, telecommunication from the vessel for, uh, um, uh, let's say, uh, providing whatever alarm, uh, whatever crisis uh, uh, situation. The, um, Customization in uh, its, uh, its uh, uh, let's say, concentrated uh, specifically for configuring the vessel following the needs of the client and, and the components, uh, as I mentioned before, and here we have uh, uh, two examples of uh, configuration of a bridge uh, done by Vard Electro and of uh, a keep, uh, components uh, installed by Vard Electro in our vessels. Um, having talked about um, uh, innovation, uh, I take the occasion to show here some innovative solution of uh, Fincantieri, VARD. The, G, the, the first of all is the decision support system, and this is a typical product of the digitalization, an integrated um, a system between hardware and software that provides information about the uh, wearing of the old components and equipment uh, and systems of the, of the vessel, able to predict and to provide information about the reliable status of the vessel in the future. For whatever mission has to be performed in the, somewhere in the future, the system uh, can be asked uh, what uh, is the level of reliability and what should be, in case, replaced to um, uh, uh, restate the wished, uh, um, the wished level of reliability. Then another another um, um, solution, new solution, is the uh, uh, energy storage system developed by Vard Electro together uh, with Solstat Farstad. The battery exchange, which is a solution allowing ferries, uh, uh, let's say, to have automatically without the use of any person quickly change the batteries uh, on board for those ferries that are using uh, uh, the uh, electrical energy. Solutions about fish farming um, that are allowing company, local companies uh, to apply for concession in uh, uh, the um, uh, harvesting of salmons, growing, letting grow in salmons within one year to the size wished for being sold. Modular platforms, uh, which are shown here in their more civil, uh, let's say, uh, vision. These are uh, platform uh, extend 
patentable within uh, our, our group, uh, um, allow to have the extension at the sea of uh, a certain surface you wish. There have been conceived applications uh, either for cities, expanding cities like Monte Carlo, for instance, or Kuwait City, that um, uh, are constrained uh, between the, uh, let's say, the mountains and the water. And, uh, but above all, for application also in the industry, the oil and gas for production uh, offshore. And um, a law to keep a certain uh, respect of the environment, uh, because they are very uh, irreversible once you complete your operation in removing them. While in this moment, most of those applications are quite are quite uh, uh, fixed in the area, and one of the subjects in the industry at the moment is the commissioning of such uh, uh, of such uh, uh, platforms. Um, then the uh, CNG carrier, a solution for carrying. Uh, ga compressed gas instead of liquid, which should support those fields that have uh, uh, a lot of gas associated to the oil, therefore making more, um, let's say, exploitable uh, that uh, field. The drill ship Proxima also, uh, the, the, it's, uh, it's not the time of the drill ships for the market, but uh, I mentioned, I wanted to mention this because it's been a nice cooperation with uh, a, a, a company within the VARD Galassia, which is uh, CDS, has uh, developed, um, a, a, let's say, a, a drilling system uh, conceived uh, in a very ecological uh, way, um, above all, uh, uh, caring about uh, the capacity to storage energy and provide this when uh, the uh, operation was requiring, and the uh, handling launch and recovery system finally provided by uh, Cionix, which is a leader in the sector. All this is, um, all those uh, um, innova innovations uh, are, uh, uh, let's say, require lots of effort internally with our design uh, um, uh, specialists, which have been in the last couple of years doubled in horizon from 100 to uh, more than 200. But above all, they require also an integration and interaction with the environment. Uh, with the research centers here in the region, uh, with um, other design centers and technological uh, in, in institutes. And uh, as, the, as the Viking vessel shows here in this region, we, there is a, a, an historical, uh, uh, let's say, uh, attitude to this, uh, to this environment, for this environment of the shipbuilding which has much facilitated our work to uh, uh, provide to the market innovative solutions. I, I was mentioning that uh, the um, digital uh, technology is, aff is affecting the entire life cycle of our, of our processes. And uh, first of all, allows us to extend the scope of work uh, or, let's say, upstream the, uh, the, the, to uh, uh, cooperate with the client to co-design the vessel, to configure together. And uh, here there is a, 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 oops. Okay. Here there is a, an example of a lab we have in, we have in, uh, in Fincantieri, in Trieste, uh, where uh, there was just the drill ship Prossima you saw with the clients who were in a very interactive way um, uh, trying to uh, uh, have some uh, discussion about the, com the, the configuration. And uh, downstream, uh, in the training phase with the client before takes delivery, also after, and in the maintenance uh, uh, and, uh, of, the, of, the la of the vessel during the entire life. And here there is a, a picture of uh, a simulation uh, during operations uh, for equipment that uh, uh, Sionix uh, has designed. 
Um, the, uh, let's say, the, the, as I mentioned before, the digital uh, uh, technology um, is able to facilitate uh, the capacity of designing uh, the design uh, it's something of the of a ship uh, it's uh, uh, something very peculiar it lasts uh, uh, depends on the size and the topology of the vessel but more than one year and is divided in several phases from the concept to the basic design to the functional design to the modeling to the uh, shop drawings uh, and the uh, digital technology has, uh, has um, allowed this market uh, to overtake uh, the uh, let's say uh, part of the body and so you have usually when you pass from a face to another with passage of information or trans tra translation of data um, let's say um, uh, putting the center of gravity into the 3D modeling with uh, um, live uh, uh, data uh, information contained in it that allows uh, uh, to, uh, uh, let's say, create the condition for uh, uh, having a more um, uh, a more efficient and performing uh, design connected with the, pro the production uh, downstream with the procurement data that come from the suppliers and with all the activity that pertains to the delivery, which are mainly uh, the commissioning activity uh, that lasts during the delivery of the, of, of the vessel, almost the half of the life cycle of the vessel itself. Um, the, the other aspect I mentioned before, the one uh, relevant to the very quick evolving market, uh, it's uh, somehow represented in this, uh, in this curve, um, which shows the typical, uh, uh, let's say, S-curve that a, sh a builder uh, or an engineer knows. Uh, there is always in the development a phase in which you prepare the work uh, and there's a certain hysteresis, therefore goes less steep than there is the implementation phase and the completion. Those, uh, let's say, those traditional curves in this era have been much squeezed. They, have become, they become vertical and they uh, require, uh, uh, let's say, to quick um, uh, also in the market, try to redefine um, the, the uh, center of gravity of your competence. Uh, in, the, in the sense to be more proactive, to be more solid, to be more capable of uh, providing highly technological advanced solutions. What we have done uh, is, is been to, uh, uh, say, spinning off certain number of uh, companies with, uh, which are uh, within the VAD um, uh, group, uh, specialized in the uh, uh, area which we deem to be at more added uh, value for the vessel and for our business. So, I mentioned uh, Vard, Vard Electro, uh, I mentioned several times, the other companies, Vard Accommodation, specialized in the uh, uh, interiors of the vessel, Vard Aqua, uh, able to design uh, solutions for the entire life cycle of uh, the specific market, Sionis, um, Vard Engineering, and Vard, and Vard Piping. Uh, all these um, uh, entities, uh, uh, let's say, are present in this region, are, uh, uh, represent a kind of uh, booster for this, uh, for this region, region and get, uh, let's say, uh, fresh and genuine uh, uh, energy from this region. And uh, uh, talking about the uh, um, integration and uh, Vard Electro would like to show you a move of uh, the last solution delivered by them.
The CQ Bridge represents a new level of integration for the bridge on board any vessel type. It is designed with the operator in focus and organized to achieve a clean and efficient workspace. The bridge is ergonomically optimized for long shifts, easy accessible touch displays, large shared multifunction displays, and comprehensive overhead display provide the operator with an optimal workspace. If requested, workstations for the aft as well as the wings can also be included in the CQ Bridge. CQ Bridge Chair is focused around comfort and simplicity. They provide the best possible working environments, allowing operators to excel. CQ Bridge consoles are flexible and modular, with the possibility to be adapted to a wide range of different equipment on all areas of the bridge. The multi-touch screens take advantage of gestures that are familiar from phones and tablets. The top menu contains login and system configuration, like dimming of screens, adjustment of chairs, consoles, etc. On the right is the alarm system. The bottom contains control of the multifunctional displays. On the left are apps like navigational lights, wipers, outside lights, CCTV, etc. The CQ Bridge is flexible for integration of all types of maritime systems and applications. Any system can be handled without modification. Multiple screens and input devices can be shared between users. The workspaces can be customized and switched between when needed. Choosing a complete delivery from Vard Electro is choosing a single point of contact for the delivery, maintenance, and service. The new CQ Bridge gives you an overall enhanced bridge experience. Well, I like to um, I like to select this video specifically because apparently it doesn't talk about uh, directly about sheep, but in real terms, it's a it's a little uh, let's say uh, unusual that a sheep builder uh, nowadays uh, 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 presents directly and specifically this uh, uh, such a solution in the sense that. Uh, uh, I like the idea that uh, we have concentrated in the essence of the vessel, the functions, and in the control of those functions, which is all allowed uh, by the effort we have provided and uh, in, uh, in the direction of the information technology integration of the vessel. A day, uh, a, a typical shipbuilders uh, would have said years ago, uh, well, concentrate to provide a value into the market to what you specifically historically know, uh, the hull, the welding, the pipe installation. And in real terms here, there is a, a vision that has been translated into uh, a solution uh, available and apply, uh, applied to vessel. It's like uh, a, a, a solution of a dreamer as seen the as seen the uh, the, the life. And uh, this is a concept that I like. The fact that the digital era somehow is able to create a liaison to reconcile, reconcile the dreamers in the companies and the, and the doers. The dreamers on one side, I mean, pulling the company, the doers uh, pushing the company, but both genuinely, I mean, to uh, let evolving uh, the company as the solution of Ad Electro as uh, a lot. Uh, I leave uh, the, this, I finish this conference uh, with a very last, uh, uh, let's say, thought, consideration. Think global in the sense uh, that, as I mentioned before, uh, the global side allows uh, to have the entire vision, but to structure and to mitigate, uh, um, uh, to, be, to, to mitigate possible risk, but act local because uh, it's in the local area that the battles are done, that the energy is there to let the business fly. Talk for Optus Akalt.
Do you believe in word? Absolutely, yes. Why? Why? <laughs> because there is the real value in the person, with competences, with passion, with trust, uh, with uh, transparency. It's something I have. I had the opportunity to appreciate in these two years. In these two years, uh, a lot of things have been done. Uh, I mentioned before the crisis, the situation two years ago was not that, and if I don't believe in a company that uh, in front of such a situation has let the business fly, at whom I should believe. Thank you. It's no, uh, it's no uh, questions on the phone. I think people are hungry. So, okay. uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It was a pleasure.